Also ich persönlich fand es bizarr. Personally, I found it bizarre. What fascinated me most was the absence of night or darkness. Whether you work the day shift or the night shift and we work around the clock, the light was always the same. We went to the North Pole because it's the only place no one has ever drilled into the seabed. Before then it was impossible to get a scientific drilling ship up there because of the ice cover. So we refitted a supply ship with a drilling derrick. Then a Russian nuclear-powered icebreaker was hired, and also a Swedish icebreaker to transport the scientists. In a convoy, the three ships made their way through the pack ice at the North Pole to the drilling station. Think of it this way. Basically, a sample is extracted from the ocean floor and then used to try and reconstruct the history of the ocean, based on the sediments found there. We wanted to know what the North Pole looked like within the past million years. When was there ice? When wasn't there ice? What was the environmental situation at the North Pole over millions of years? The point was an undersea ridge. It's called the Lomonosov Ridge, and it extends underwater from Siberia to the North Pole. We drilled our first hole down to a depth of nearly 500 meters. As you travel through the ice, there's only this wide expanse and all these non-existent colors. The eye has nothing to hold on to. When I think that researchers walked along it hundreds of years ago without any orientation on the horizon, it's fascinating and somehow unreal. The drilling cores are kept in cold storage at 4 degrees Celsius here in Bremen. That's to minimize moisture loss in the seabed cores. A drilling core is a cylinder that has been stamped out of the seafloor. We divide it along its length. That gives us half for the archive and half to work with. You can often spot the differences with the naked eye. You can see the lime sludge that's light beige colored, and then the sudden change over to nougat colored sediments. Thanks to this drilling, we can look roughly 57 million years into the past. That's an enormous amount of scientific knowledge. We've discovered that it was considerably warmer than was previously thought. The temperature maximum we see at 55 million years ago is of major interest nowadays because to a certain extent there are analogies to present-day climate warming. As a reward for all our hard work and because we had some time left over, we took a little tour to the actual North Pole. We moored the ships on the thick ice, put down the ramp, and went out on the ice. We were there for two hours. Everyone took pictures to prove they'd been to the North Pole. Who knows how long that'll be possible. A hundred years from now, there may not be any more ice at the North Pole.